Thank you for listening to Depictions Media Radio. Four calls to action of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. And many of these calls to action relate to our justice system. They speak to the need to create fundamental change to ensure that true justice and equity for indigenous people actually exists. And amongst them is Call to Action 50. Call to Action 50 calls upon the government to collaborate with indigenous peoples to revitalize their legal systems and to fund indigenous law institutes for the development, use, and understanding of indigenous laws in accordance with the unique cultures of indigenous peoples in Canada. Dans le budget 2019, nous avons prévu verser 10 millions de dollars en 5 ans pour appuyer des initiatives de droits autochtones partout au pays dans le cadre du programme juridique de partenariat et d'innovation. Un programme mis en place afin d'améliorer l'accès à la justice et s'attaquer aux nouveaux enjeux du système de justice canadien. The first round of funding began with $500,000 in 2019 -20. In August 2019, the Department of Justice opened a call for proposals for a second round of funding. It sought proje projects that support the revitalization of Indigenous law in all regions of Canada involving First Nations, Inuit, and Métis legal traditions. On May 17th, our government announced funding of almost $9.5 million dollars for 21 projects across the country. Today, I am pleased to highlight one of these projects. With funding of $474,000 over four years, the Yellow Knives Dene First Nation will work to establish the legal and governance infrastructure needed to shift to an, an indigenous Dene system of law and governance. The Yellow Knives Dene First Nation Rebuilding Project will involve working with Dene knowledge holders to record and distill traditional knowledge on laws, governance, and legal traditions. It will also involve developing a governance framework, including the legislative drafting needed to shift to a traditional system of law and government. With this new framework, rooted in traditional knowledge, the Yellow Knives Dene First Nation plans to develop a constitution to formally recognize its self-governance. We're confident that this kind of funding will help make a real difference for you, your community, Chief Sangris, as you take on the sometimes challenging but important work of revitalizing your legal systems. Today's announcement is one of a number of concrete actions we're taking to advance reconciliation. We recently reached a significant milestone in our work with the Royal Assent on the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples Act. We now have a roadmap to advance the implementation of the declaration at the federal level. It's our intention to, to do this collaborative work and to focus on supporting Indigenous peoples in exercising the right to self-determination. La déclaration traite également des objectifs de l'appel à l'action numéro 50 et du droit des peuples autochtones de maintenir leurs institutions juridiques distinctes. And we'll continue to work with partners at Crown Indigenous Relations and Northern Affairs in negotiations for administration of justice agreements with a number of Indigenous communities. This responds directly to Call to Action 42 for federal and provincial governments to recognize and implement Aboriginal justice systems. In Budget 2021, the Government of Canada announced investments of $18 million over five years and $4 million ongoing to revive the Law Commission of Canada. This will support, amongst other things, the work to address systemic barriers in the justice system, including multiple barriers faced by Indigenous peoples. The funding we are announcing today will add to our reconciliation effort to support Indigenous communities and to build a new path forward that focuses on the needs of diverse peoples and communities. And as I've highlighted previously, this is very important to me personally, as well as uh, important to my ministry and my government. I, for many years, taught in a law faculty and struggled in teaching property law in Canada, both in the civil law and common law tradition, 
to incorporate the understandings of uh, indigenous normative systems uh, long before uh, it, it became a current subject of, of, uh, of discussion. And I would argue it, it, this, we are uh, moving too slowly uh, in this regard. These legal traditions, these legal systems have existed within the cultural context of the many uh, First Nations, uh, Métis and Inuit communities across Canada. They've existed since time immemorial and they are the most appropriate way to govern uh, so much of what Indigenous peoples do, particularly with their, in their relationships uh, with each other and with the land. And so this is, a, this is an empowering moment uh, and I look forward to more of these uh, kinds of initiatives as we move forward. So thank you very much. Merci. Uh, thank you. Merci. And I now turn it over to Chief Sangris to say a few words. Sorry about that. I was on mute. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, it's afternoon here. Um, are we still on? Yep, go yep. ahead. We can hear you. Okay. Hey, um, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, MP McLeod, the minister, uh, for giving us the Yellowknife Denny First Nation support for this uh, rebuilding projects of our uh, of our system. Um, now we have uh, a different kind of uh, uh, a system where uh, our main language is Willie language. Uh, when we were trying to you know revitalize and. Uh, we're trying to get our uh, language recognized, which is uh, one of the 11 official languages of NWT. But um, in order to do that, we need to show you know, the, that we need to do the research and the support of the, of the community. And I think this goes on, on in line with that. In, in, and I'm truly honored to be one of the, you know, the First Nations to lead this um, rebuilding project for uh, for the governance of uh, the governance structure of the First Nations. Um, for so long, we have been on the colonialism system where we have to follow everybody else's rules. But our ancestors have always set the law for us as, as a Dene law, and we follow that. And and these, as we come, as you know, we're in the negotiations. And in, in tune with that, we're trying to, gov to set up a governance system in line with our, uh, you know, um, traditional uh, and, and cultural uh, system of law, of justice in the community. And, you know, it, it's going to go a long way in, in trying to finalize that. And one of the, the things that we have to do is have to give the elders uh, uh, some involved in all this, and this. I think it's a, it's a good thing that we, we're doing, uh, and I think that it's going to go a long way into uh, uh, you know hitting up a system of how we used to govern, um, and 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 not the governance being imposed upon us. Um, one of the 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 main elements of our negotiations is the governance structure. How we're going to govern ourselves in the Kichwa territory. So, it's 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 in tune with what we're trying to achieve, and the all have done first nations. Is 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 leading the way on on how we we set up our governance system and based on on, on the knowledge of of the elders. Uh, you know, we as Dene people have always had a, a before. Uh, yes. Before, um, thank you. Before uh, you know, uh, first contact. Uh, Dene people have always had a, a system, a justice system, to govern themselves, um, and I think it's uh, it's something that we, as as uh, First Nations, going to. Incorporate into our, our agreement. Um, 
because we're we're negotiating based on the treaty treaty implementation of 1900. So, and one of the ways that we have to govern is to say that we have to govern ourselves in a way that our ancestors have always governed themselves. And I think it's a good good tune to to uh, turn towards that element of uh, you know the system that we wanted to use for future generations. Um, and it's, it's, it's taken a long time um, because one of the things that we have to do is incorporate uh, the Willow Day language into the system and, and along with other community uh, language system in, in the Ketro. So it's, it, it's, it's uh, something that we have to uh, look at. And, you know, all these years of, uh, you know, the funding the month, month on announcement today will create a and, and create a model and and, and uh, contribute to the to the move and movement of other First Nations, you know, that are you know, trans transcend to their self government by establishing some sort of a blueprint for practicing and and, and recognizing the governance law in in their indigenous uh, traditions. So, I think it's uh, you know it, I'd like to thank the minister and. Uh, was was hard work and uh, and Michael McLeod MP for doing all the footwork and we wish we had more MPs than just once so <laughs> to be twice as fast but you know uh, Michael could cover only so much ground in a day. Um, I found out because the other chief from Young Dennis on uh, on. Um, Election mode, so I have to do all the work, <laughs> and it's twice as hard, twice as. So I, uh, you know, and then I, I like to thank everybody involved in, uh, you know, coming from, you know, from the heart of Yelena Dene. Uh, you know, we're we're trying to move forward with uh, negotiations and, and incorporating this law, incorporating this uh, system of justice is is really important to our people, and I think that. You know, we, 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 if we achieve this, we're going to move a long way and the other uh, First Nations got follow suit. Masicho. Thank you very much, Chief Sangris. And now we will begin the question and answer period with the media. Um, just a little rappel, if you are media, if you please use the function Levez la main or Etoile 9 to ask your question. Uh, for the media, just a reminder, please use the raised hand function or star six on your phone if you would like to ask a question. We will start with Tom Cardoso, Global News. Go ahead. Hi, Mr. L Minister Lametti. This is uh, Tom Cardoso with the Globe and Mail. How are you today? Good. <laughs> I, am, I am well, Tom. Thank you. I'll take myself <laughs> off mute. <laughs> Great. Uh, sorry about that. I always forget that there's a muting thing. Uh, so, Mr. L Minister Lametti, the Globe and Mail reported this weekend that the Catholic Church had billions of dollars in assets, despite the fact that it had not paid its entire residential school settlement commitment. In a story this morning, Indigenous leaders called for a review of the settlement agreement. Will the government revisit the agreement? Uh, thank you, uh, thank you, Tom, for that question. Uh, let me begin by saying that I'm a, I'm a, a, a practicing Catholic, and I'm I am uh, so ashamed uh, about the, the the way the Catholic Church has handled this. Um, we, as as uh, as a government, as Minister of Justice, we will we will uh, continue to work uh, with Indigenous peoples uh, as information comes forward. And uh, we'll we'll try uh, to do our best uh, to move this file forward in a positive way, uh, and I won't I won't comment specifically about that at this moment. Thank you. Any follow up, Tom? Uh, then yeah. we will go. Oh, oh. yep. Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, one question that has come up uh, uh, from some of the Indigenous leaders I've spoken with is the idea that uh, perhaps even beyond uh, simply revisiting the agreement, uh, a third party should be appointed to investigate these matters. Uh, uh, National Chief of the Assembly of First Nations, Roseanne Archibald, told me that she's pushing for 
a special rapporteur of some sorts. Uh, do you have any comment on that? I've worked uh, worked closely over the past uh, past uh, number of weeks uh, with Indigenous leadership across Canada, uh, both at the national level, uh, regional level, and also at, at the level of the individual communities affected. Uh, we, as I said in my prepared remarks, uh, we will move forward uh, with something that is Indigenous-led, uh, that is survivor-centric, and that is culturally sensitive, uh, working with, uh, with communities, uh, with Indigenous leadership, with provinces uh, and territories, and, uh, and, and with other uh, implicated groups. Thank you. Thank you. And now we will move to Pascal. Please name your name of your organization. Bonjour, est-ce que vous m'entendez? Oui, vas-y Pascal. Merci. Pascal Gachette du journal Métro Montréal. Alors c'est une question pour Monsieur Lametti. Au niveau du département de la justice, c'est quoi le défi pour mettre en place, mettre sur papier des lois qui sont autochtones et surtout qui sont des fois, elles sont séculaires, elles, sont, elles ont des centaines d'années, elles sont parfois orales. Au niveau judiciaire, comment on fait pour les officialiser? Ben, c'est une, une bonne question, Pascal. Merci. Euh, et ça touche évidemment l'annonce qu'on vient de faire aujourd'hui. Ce qu'on est en train de faire, c'est de, de réinvigorer les, les, systèmes, euh, les systèmes normatifs, les, les systèmes euh, légaux autochtones. Um, et qui, qui ont existé depuis de, depuis plusieurs euh, de, depuis euh, depuis le début euh, sur euh, euh, l'île des, des tortues euh, euh, ici euh, ici où on vit euh, c'est une question euh, c'est une question de pluralisme juridique donc de de trouver l'espace pour des systèmes de d'abord opérer et dans un deuxième temps coopérer euh, parce que ça, ça va la réponse va être un système euh, plusieurs systèmes pourraient occuper euh, même espace en même temps c'est déjà le cas euh, c'est déjà le cas dans n'importe quel système juridique euh, et, et, et dans le système juridique du Canada donc c'est le défi pour l'instant c'est vraiment de réinvigorer les systèmes autochtones euh, les traditions, les, les traditions orales, euh, des fois il y avait des traditions écrites, euh, des traditions chantées, euh, mais ce sont des systèmes qui fonctionnent, qui fonctionnent encore, qui organisent les vies euh, des communautés et des personnes et, et de donc les laisser faire, de les laisser épanouir euh, dans le système euh, et, et de coexister avec d'autres systèmes. Euh, juridique qui, qui, qui se trouve euh, situé sur, le même, euh, sur la même place. Et ma deuxième question, ce serait plutôt pour voir quels sont les chantiers prioritaires. Donc, euh, je ne sais pas, est-ce qu'il y a des thèmes au niveau des lois qui vont être étudiés? Est-ce qu'il y a euh, des lois qui vont être étudiées prioritairement? Et surtout, comment on fait? Euh, pour les... Pro... Euh, OK, euh, non, terminé. <rire> Excusez-moi. Comment on fait, en fait... Euh, je vais reprendre ma question. Quels sont les chantiers prioritaires au niveau des futures lois qui vont être étudiées et surtout comment ça fonctionne, comment on fait? Ce qu'on a fait dans ce projet, on a, on a laissé euh, la possibilité des peuples autochtones de définir ce qu'ils voulaient faire eux-mêmes et donc de définir leurs priorités et de, de définir leur démarche, de définir leur partenariat. Donc, il y a certaines à travers le Canada qui ont qui sont entrées en partenariat avec les, les avec les, les universités ou les instituts. Um, il y a d'autres qui sont plus plus axés sur le terrain, comme le projet d'aujourd'hui. Uh, donc, c'est c'est vraiment uh, à un peuple à déterminer, à autodéterminer ce qu'il ce qu'il voudrait faire. Euh, donc euh, et donc pour l'instant le démarche c'est vraiment de laisser l'espace aux peuples autochtones eux-mêmes de déterminer comment ils ils voudraient développer, identifier euh, et encadrer euh, leur système juridique. Merci. Mais c'est un c'est un premier pas effectivement. Bien reçu. Thank you for listening today and thank you for supporting us with our sponsors. Please go to depictions.media for more.
more information and click on our contact link and let us know how we can help how we can help bring your story and help bring us to a better world This show has been produced by Depictions Media. Please contact us at depictions.media for more information.